Today we are learning how to solve word problems with different types of operations. Here's our first problem. At the furniture store, I bought two tables and four chairs. If each table costs $79 and each chair costs $29, how much did I spend in all? So in this problem, I buy two tables. I could draw a table and label it table one. Then here's table two. I also buy some chairs. I'll label this chair one, then we have chair two, chair three, and chair four. This is everything I bought at the store. But because I have these labels, I can actually get rid of my pictures. Instead of the pictures, I could just draw these boxes for each item. Now I'll think about my two tables. In the problem I read that each table costs $79. And so I'll write the number 79 into each of my boxes representing tables. Then I can look at my chairs. Well, I read in the problem that each chair costs $29. So I'll write $29 into each of my boxes representing chairs. Now this is everything I bought at the store. And I need to figure out how much did this all cost in total? Well, one way I could do this is by thinking about my tables and chairs separately. When I think about my tables, I realize that I had two tables and each one cost $79. I can multiply two times 79. For my chairs, I bought four chairs and each one cost $29. So I'll multiply four times 29. Let's focus on our tables first. I'll multiply 2 times 79 like this. Well, 2 times 9, that's 18. Then 2 times 7, that's 14, plus that 1 we carried is 15. So all in all, 2 times $79 is $158. Now let's focus on our chairs. I'll multiply 4 times 29 like this. Well, 4 times 9, that's 36. Then 4 times 2 is 8, plus the 3 we carried is 11. So all in all, 4 times 29 is $116. Now that I know how much my tables and chairs cost, all I need to do are add together these amounts. If you add $158 plus $116, you get your total of $274. Let's practice one of these together now. In an aquarium, there were three large fish tanks and five small fish tanks. Each large tank had 82 fish inside, and each small tank had 20 fish inside. How many fish does the aquarium have? So in this problem, we have large fish tanks. I'll label them large tank 1, large tank 2, and 3. Then we have small fish tanks. I'll label them S1 for small tank 1. Here are my five small fish tanks. Now, how many fish are in each large tank? The problem tells us each large tank had 82 fish inside. So I'll write the number 82 into my boxes representing the large tanks. How many fish were in each small tank? The problem tells us each small tank had 20 fish inside. So we'll write 20 into those boxes. Now to find the total number of fish in this aquarium, let's first think about our large tanks. What math expression could I write to find the total number of fish in the large tanks? Well, I have three tanks and each one has 82 fish in it. I would multiply three times 82. What math expression could I solve to find the number of fish in the small tanks? Well, I have five tanks and each tank has 20 fish in it. So I could multiply 5 times 20. Let's focus on our large tanks first. What does 3 times 82 equal? If you solve this out, 3 times 2 is 6. And then 3 times 8 is 24. So the large tanks have 246 fish in them. Now let's focus on the small tanks. What does 5 times 20 equal? When you multiply 20 times 5, you get that 5 times 0 is 0, but 5 times 2 is 10. So 5 times 20 is 100. Now what do we need to do to solve this problem? 
To find the total, we need to add 246 plus 100. When you do that, you get that there are a total of 346 fish in this aquarium. Now it's time for you to try one on your own. At the grocery store, I bought four bags of potatoes and three blocks of cheese. Each bag of potatoes cost $17. Each block of cheese cost $14. How much did I spend in all? We can start by modeling this problem. This will represent one bag of potatoes. So here are all four of my bags of potatoes. Then this will represent one block of cheese. So here are my three blocks of cheese. The problem says each bag of potatoes costs $17, and each block of cheese costs $14. Now I could find the total of my potatoes by multiplying four bags, and each one costs $17. When I do that, I get a total of $68. For the cheese, I have three blocks, and each one costs $14. When I multiply that, it gives me a total of $42. When I add together $68 plus $42, I get my answer that I spent $110 in all. Today you learned how to solve word problems involving different types of math operations.